Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, there's my email address. Feel free to get a hold of me, send me an email, I'll get back to you, usually within 24 hours. Uh, today, we're going to talk about um, something that is really important, uh, specifically for content authors, but really for everybody involved in, uh, in a Contentful project is uh, entry versioning or content versioning and the ability um, to, uh, whenever you make a change, to go back to previous versions. Now, there's some, it's a powerful feature, uh, and it's something that's really important and that uh, will give you peace of mind. But there are also some caveats you need to know. You need to understand its limitations, uh, where it works, where it doesn't, um, all, all sorts of things. And that's what we're gonna get into today. We're gonna get into all the details of content versioning uh, in Contentful. But as you guys know how this works, as always, there's my site. Go get your free account. If you're watching live and you don't have an account yet, please go get your free account. Um, as you know, um, I'm, do, I'm shooting for 1,000 registered users by the end of the year. I'm about to hit 800, which I'm just uh, in the moon just thinking about that. I'm going to hit 800 registered users. Uh, probably everything goes well by the middle of August. It's supposed to be by the end of August. So things are, are moving along. But please get a free account. Once you get your free account, you'll have access to not only this lesson on demand, but you'll have access to all the lessons in the um, Focus on Contentful course, which includes a bunch of lessons, as you can see, for developers, for administrators, for content authors, for all of you. There's tons of, and there's even bonus material there too. And of course, you'll have access once you register, uh, you'll have access to the Content Modeling Weekly course, which I model every week something new. I'm up to 39 lessons right now. Next week, we're gonna hit the 40th, 40 lessons, wow. Anyway, go get your free account. You'll have access to that. You'll have access to all the courses. There's tons of stuff. You can see uh, lots of presenters um, in, in the site. So get your free account. I really uh, appreciate you doing that. Uh, and that's it. That's all there is to my marketing. I'm not going to do any more marketing because we're going to restart the, uh, the intro because, you know, on the on-demand version um, of, uh, no pun intended on version, you know, but on the on-demand lesson, um, it's, there's no marketing. It's just a clean uh, edit. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the intro and I'll see you back in 10 seconds. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, get a hold of me right there, marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Send me an email, I'll get back to you within usually 24 hours. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about something that will give you peace of mind as an author, um, even as an administrator, as a developer. If you're involved in a Contentful project uh, and you change entries constantly, uh, one thing that you want to uh, do is sometimes you make a wrong change and what happens? Well, you want to be able to revert back to a previous uh, copy of that entry. So today we're going to talk about that. And you know, that is pretty simple. The way Contentful does it, it's actually uh, pretty intuitive and I'll show you where you find versions. But we're going to get into some of the the details, some of the caveats. You need to understand that uh, when it doesn't do uh, version control and what happens to linked entries and locales and environments and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get into that. So why don't we start? Let me show my screen here. Here we go. So here we are. Let me uh, jump in. And by the way, for those of you watching live, if you get the account at headlesscreator.com, you'll have access to the on demand of this and of course to the mirror board here. But I just want to give you a quick Quick review for those of you that know, my apologies, but those of you that don't, we'll do it real quick. Uh, the way Contentful is broken, it's broken by you have an organization. Within an organization, you have spaces. So you can have as many spaces as you, as you purchase and or, or, or the free versions. Now, spaces have environments. You can have as many, well, every, uh, your license will dictate how many environments you can have but you can have environments, but there's only one master environment. And why am I pointing this out? Environments hold content types and content types will then hold entries. Your version control happens at the entry level, but it only happens in the master environment. Uh, 
So what that means is that if you have, for example, um, a staging environment or whatever other kind of environment, version control stops. Now, what do you mean by stops? Well, what I mean is, let's say you have a master environment and then you change the alias to the, the master alias to the dev environment, it'll start tracking versions. Then you change it back to master. Any changes you made to master, when you made that change, so it was no longer master to that environment, the version control stopped. When you make it a master uh, alias again, it'll start again, and then this one will stop. So keep in mind that version control only happens to the master environment, not to all the other environments. So let's go, let's jump into Contentful for a minute. Well, let's let's make sure we got, uh, yeah, and then you can see version one, version two at the master level. And the version is at all, um, all locales. It'll track all locales, but only at publish. So let me let me show you. Let's jump in. So here we have. I'm um, I'm just I just have you know regular content type. So we'll jump in. I'm gonna jump into an entry here. So we have an entry. So where do you find version control? Well, if you scroll all the way on the sidebar here, you'll see versions, and you'll see I have multiple versions that I was playing with. Now what I want to show you. I'm gonna go ahead and change. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and go into a different space because I don't have a, uh, well, you know what? Let's just make a, we'll make, uh, let's see, we'll go to environments here. We'll add an environment and we'll call it uh, staging. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's basically making a copy of production right now and production is my master. So let's give it a, let's give it just a couple of seconds real quick. Uh, let's see if we can hit Go to look else. We'll go over to, uh, should be pretty much done. Where are you environments? There we go. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so now let's go to customer. Oh, we'll have to reload. Now we'll see it. We'll go to staging. Okay, and we have, it just made a copy um, of some of the, uh, the, of the same environment, the master, right? So let's go to blog. We're in staging. We are not in master anymore. We'll go to Golden Retriever here, same thing. You can see that there is no uh, version. It doesn't mean, it does not mean that it deleted all the versions. What it means is that if I make a change here and I click on publish, this change was not tracked. And, and I can tell you it wasn't tracked because if I switch uh, our alias to this one now, um, and let's do this. Let's make changed. We'll do that. Okay. If I go back to, let's go back to environments now. And let's change alias to go to staging. We'll confirm. Okay. So we are in master. This is master now. So if we go into here, this is the one that changed. Let's go to the previous. And well, this is like the previous previous because we, we made we made actual other changes to it. Mm -hmm. And it's the previous previous. So it's it's the last one that was tracked in master. Okay. So that's what's important to understand here is version control stops when the environment is no longer master, but when it becomes master, it'll continue um, with your uh, version control. So keep that in mind. So like I mentioned, let's go back. We'll, we'll go, we'll keep it as, as staging here. We'll keep it like that. Um, let's go in here um, and make a change. We'll get rid of that. So we'll see a new one right there. Uh, and let's go back to the 35 minute ago. The way you compare, you just select the one you want and then click on compare with current version. And then it's gonna show you everything that changed. Oh, interesting. That one did a change. Let's make sure we're in the right. Yeah, we are in master. We'll click on, that's interesting that it didn't uh, publish changes. Here we go. 
Okay, there we go, a few seconds ago. So we'll go to that, compare current version. Okay, so we added the S. Here's the, the, the change that we did. Now, one thing I want you to notice, you can say show only differences and it'll show you whatever changed. So it doesn't show you everything else. But the other thing you wanna keep in mind is that it doesn't track changes 